This is Next Weather. Friday just about here. 81 degrees right now. Feels like 83 in uh, Miami. Still gusty winds anywhere from 20 to 25 miles an hour. It's another warm and breezy day. We hit 87. The temperature range not all that huge. 77 to 87. That's courtesy of an east wind that's bringing the moisture off the Atlantic. And we have some showers at this hour. Not so much across a Broward at all. Miami Dade, a couple of little showers here and there, but more of a line is setting up here from a northwest uh, from northeast to southwest. And this is rolling through Marathon right now portions of the upper keys and eventually getting down towards a key west uh, in about uh, another half hour. You'll be dealing with those showers and then they'll go away. But the pattern not changing that area of high pressure we've been stuck with. Well, it's still there and it's still going to provide us with some gusty winds. Although I think tomorrow with dry air up above, that should be enough to really uh, you know, uh, limit the shower activity we have and then we'll have uh, some moisture. This is the change that we have been talking about. Still an iffy forecast. I think we have the potential here on Sunday to actually be drier than even the 30% I'm talking about, but we'll leave it there for now because the models are still struggling uh, to figure out if that's going to reach us here and how that's going to pan out. But uh, an increasing rain chance certainly heading into the second part of the weekend. So we'll keep an eye on that. The gusts will continue through tomorrow, but notice on rain trackers just further apart and far and few between here as far as the shower activity. So we're looking pretty good as we set up for Friday and into Saturday with that increase uh, into uh, Sunday. In the tropics, we have what's left over from uh, Tammy here. This is an area now 50% chance of Tammy redeveloping. So we'll watch that, but that's going to be an interest for Bermuda. And this is new here from the National Hurricane Center. When you see a, a, an area this huge circled, this is a slow potential development of an area of low pressure here. And that's something that we'll keep an eye on there. But uh, I'm not thinking much with it right now, I have to say. High rip uh, current risk that continues for tomorrow. That wind is not going anywhere. We're going to continue to see issues with the uh, boating of a small craft advisory for the Atlantic. Atlantic waters, choppy conditions, and still rough conditions across uh, the Florida Keys near shore there with a two to four foot seas, although things will begin to improve towards the second part of the week. And I think Saturday is still going to be pretty windy. And remember the uh, high tides coming up here with the full moon cycle. The king tides will continue. So the potential there for some saltwater flooding continues heading into the last weekend of October. Here we go with rain chances up to about 30 percent. We'll keep them there for Monday and even for Halloween. Look how warm we stay here with highs well above average into the upper 80s and then just sinking back down to where we should be this time where you're around 84 by the middle part of next week.